Hey guys, Anthony for Before Diesel, another injector replacement job, uh, really important one. I was going to show you how well the EGR plate works. Let's go to the bench. Here we have the components we've just removed. Yeah, we've got some old injectors there that came back. If anyone missed that, I haven't mentioned for a while, return your old injectors for a free contamination check. Send me a text message for the details. Anyway, uh, it's after you've purchased your injector kit and changed them, obviously. So the valve covers here, all good. Telltale sign while we're at it that it's been off before is that black RTV, see just there, here and here. Factory is grey. <coughs> Bless me, it's windy today. That hay fever, allergies, whatever, will be going off. So, <coughs> there you go. Hopefully that's the last one, don't they come in pairs? Have a look in here though, have a look at this EJ. I'll get you a good view in a minute, I'll do my best to get in there. But I wanna give you the information, this vehicle, the client, saw my full detail EJ clean video, that's removing and cleaning this area with all the detail. It goes for nearly two hours, uh, very popular video. Uh, he cleaned it a month ago. So we're about to show you in here what happens in a month, right? So he cleaned it a month ago. Now you've seen the photos and the demonstrations of the vehicles with the plate in there after, whether it's 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, or 200,000, whatever. It's the same result. The EJAR valve, this is the EJAR valve here, you know, this area here, stays clean, alloy in colour. So let's have a look, what does this look like after a month? Let's get in there and have a look. Doesn't look very alloy in colour, does it? So in a month, it's the soccer mum's car, they haven't gone fast, so the shops, the school, drop off the kids, go to the shops, visit the friends, that sort of thing, I'd imagine in a, in a month, probably, I'd guess, less than a thousand Ks. And you can see it's already got a, a spray paint powder coating of Exhaust gases, EGR valve, exhaust gas recirculation. Exhaust gas recirculation is the problem. Has the light bulb come on yet? It's not the oil, see up here, this is the oil, right? The oil's here, there's no, this is where the exhaust gases come in. See on the right there, that's the bottom of the EGR valve on the right. This is where it comes in, it comes in at the bottom here. That's your problem, right? Look at this end already, look at the build up starting already. Let me get the right angle for you. Have a look in, in places there, look at that, there's a pieces that are, I'm looking at that from as good as you can, now let me, what am I doing, get that light properly, that, it's about 4 mil thick that chunk over there at 3 o'clock, and then you know a bit more up the top, and now, without going into too much detail, because do you get it yet, right, exhaust gas, re, exhaust gas is going back through your engine, bad idea, so we've got an EGR information playlist, you can check that out if you want more information. Okay, we don't sell the EJAR gaskets separately, you know, I've said in a number of videos, but reminding again lately, because a few people will send that text messages, and we've got a few other important tips in related around this injector job, let me work out what they are, and I'll let you know. So I suppose one of the most important ones for those that missed it, because there is some new people here, we've got all the regulars, and appreciate all the viewers and the support, thank you, and uh, I'm happy to have been able to assist you to get your vehicle maintained correctly, and uh, do all the right, correct work, and not the wrong ones. Obviously this uh, cylinder head area is about to get a clean up. One of the important things to remember here is, as I said already, I don't sell the EGR, we're not a big parts business, we don't have a website, here's an important one. The other day someone purchased an injector kit online from my website. Uh, uh oh, that's right, I don't have a website. Personalized service, what we're doing right here, it's send a text message Monday morning from 8 a.m. The warning is don't buy injectors anywhere else. There is shortages. There's counterfeit, there's counterfeit injectors that look very similar. There's uh, remanufactured. There's other brands. We only recommend brand new, genuine, and fresh stock. That's what we supply. Happy days if you're listening in Monday morning. If you're not, well, might not be so happy days, but that's up to you. I'll just give the information. Doesn't bother me. I can't service, I can't supply injectors for everybody in Australia. I can't, can't do the whole world. I can't do Australia. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's too big, but I can only service the people that listen that want to avoid, because they know they're doing this big job and it's got to last another maybe 10 years, give or take. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, whatever it might be, whatever your choice is. Again, I don't care. It's not my choice what you do with your vehicle. My job, what I'm here for is to help you. I can't, you know, I suppose I couldn't, I don't know. I can't do everything in the world, but I can do my part to help you with this. That's what I'm trying to do. So one of the most recent questions, you know, about the suction control valve. So just quickly, right, just quickly. 
Somebody's used some yellow, yellow, some sort of yellow sealant on that mount fold over there. See that? Anyway, in the distance there. But anyway, we're going to clean that. It's just a bit dirty at the elbow of the manifold there. Um, somebody's asking about suction control valves. It's really sweet, short and sweet, right? It's short and sweet. No, it's short and rubbish. You know that. The regulars know the short ones are rubbish. We've got a suction control valve playlist. Please go ahead and watch it. It's important information. Watch those videos so that you don't purchase one when you don't need one and so that you do purchase one if you need one. I'll just remind you, 05 to 09 roughly is the ones with the short ones that have probably need an upgrade. We ha Careful where you buy from. We only have brand new, genuine. We're gonna send you the correct suction control valve. There's a number of different ones. You wanna get the right one. And there's also counterfeit copies. From me, you're only gonna get brand new, assured, genuine, guaranteed, butter being express post delivered to your door if you contact me Monday morning. Obviously, it just takes time, obviously, for you guys to do that. You need to watch some videos. A lot of people new to videos, and they've only seen a few, and they haven't picked up on that yet. That's why I have to keep repeating myself. Over here again, I'm just going to remind you. We do supply, usually, a free set of clamps. That's these clamps up the top here. So compare them. I've mentioned in other videos. If you, if it's a Hilux or an earlier, look, they, they vary. I don't want to give you a pattern that I've seen because it could be wrong. But if your clamps are thicker, you may want to keep the thicker ones and use those. But if yours are thinner and the ones we supply you, it doesn't matter. I'm not going into too much detail. You need to watch the other videos, really. And you really need to be in the VIP group and watch all the installation videos. Not one, and not once. If you want to avoid the pitfalls, this video started off, it was just to show you that, look, the plate, it definitely works. It works, okay? I don't care. I don't sell them. Kon.com.au if you want one. I'm not telling you whether it's... I've been through this, all right? I'm not saying it's illegal or it's not illegal. I don't know. It depends what country, what state. You need to work that out. I'm just telling you that it's a solution that reduces the flow of what's going into there. And no, it doesn't go there. It goes at the other end of the EJ cooler at the head. It does not go here. Okay, another bit of information. It does not go there. It won't block up unless you put it there. If you put it there, you'll have problems. All sorts of problems, including it'll block up eventually. It goes at the other end where it's dry. Okay, it works. Kon.com.au or k on 4x4 on eBay. All right, guys, I think that's a video. I just wanted to really say, look, there's your demonstration. There's a month, and you've seen 100,000 Ks, whatever we've demonstrated in other videos. Check out the EJR playlist. Like the video if you liked it, learned something out of that, and you know, subscribe, turn the bell on. We've got better videos coming out, coming your way, and already out there. We've got, I think it's over a 1,000 videos, isn't it? So you've got some catching up to do. See you guys.